What it do YouTube, it's your boy Blackie Stone and I am back with another video. Super excited to have you guys back on the channel. A channel where we continue to learn and grow. And if you're willing to learn and grow right along with me, guess what guys, this is the channel for you. Um, we, we are trying to drop weekly videos um, just like this on crafty things, fast cars, motorcycles, lifestyle and adventure. If that is something that you are interested in guys, hey, go ahead and give me a thumbs up for the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, do all those good things so that this video can get into YouTube's algorithm. With that being said guys, hey, um, I know it's been a while since, I, since the last time I dropped a video. The last video that we did release was on beanies. Remember guys, we introduced this little guy right here to the channel and we did this little guy a favor. We embroidered on the front face of this beanie. We did it with our SE600, our brother SE600. It's a single needle embroidery machine along with the sewing machine. Guys, I'm so excited to let you guys know that we, we have since upgraded from that single needle uh, embroidery machine to now our 10 needle embroidery machine. And today we're going to, guess what? Do our friend another favor by putting another logo on this hat. If you're interested in learning more about this video, guys, uh, don't skip ahead. Don't skip the ads. Um, um, I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to show a fast and easy way, a very consistent way where you don't have to measure. Um, just get in and get out. Uh, because what we have learned up to this point that efficiency is the key. Efficiency is the key uh, when it comes to our time, when it comes to making our hats. So we want to get in and make that hat or whatever product we have and get out so that we can go about our day, get to the post office if we have to, so that we can mail our merchandise off to the customer. So with, further, with no further ado, guys, let's get right into the video right after this. Break! Someone told me a long time ago that as long as you have the tools to do a job, the job can get done. The job can get done. Guys, we've upgraded our tools, as we mentioned, to a 10 needle embroidery machine. We also added some accessories to the uh, embroidery machine. We have an adjustable hoop for infant size uh, clothing, as well as um, left chest logo um, placement and today we're going to use this same adjustable tool to embroider on a beanie. First we got to get the beanie and hoop it up. We're going to use this adjustable hoop in order to uh, hoop our beanie. So let's get going. Okay guys here is our 5.5 adjustable mighty hoop. Uh, we have our beanie here guys. What we want to do, guys, is we have our beanie, right? We want to embroider on this beanie within this area. It's about two and a half to three inches. Your best beanies are going to come with a three inch cuff, guys, on the beanie. What we want to do first, guys, is turn this beanie inside out. Like I said, we're not going to measure. We're not going to tape. We're not going to do anything but use the... Uh, the natural shape of the beanie in order to hoop it okay um what you want to do is open it up just like so and we're going to lay it off to the side right um 
let's get the other mighty hoop let's get the placement for the bottom mighty hoop so that we can start this process okay guys that's the bottom of the mighty hoop these are magnetized guys so you want to be careful when you're working with these things because uh, they're very powerful if you get your fingers in between the top and the bottom you will uh, pinch yourself so just to warn you this is and can be a pinch point for your fingers you also want to keep your uh, electronic devices away from this magnet because as you know a strong magnet can definitely destroy your, your cell phone, your laptop. I know a lot of times your laptop is in the area. So you want to keep your laptop, any electronic, out of the way of this uh, uh, Mighty Hoop. Even when you're storing it, you want to, make, you want to be very cautious of the fact that um, the, uh, the magnets are together and away from... Uh, any electronic device as well as small children Just want to put that disclaimer out there guys um, <clears throat> Again, this channel was not being sponsored by Mighty Hoop or the embroidery machine that we purchased We're gonna need um, Some cutaway stabler stabilizer guys. I like to use pre-cut stabilizer because I'm lazy and like I said, we, we are working on efficiency. And as long as things are efficient, we can get the process done and out the way. And on to another one. Next. Because this hat is very flexible and what the cutaway stabilizer is going to do exactly what the name calls for. It's going to stabilize whatever you're hooping. We, got, we have that closed up. What we're going to do is take our ruler, our inch and a half ruler, because we want that gap at the end. And then we're going to hoop our hat. I like to hoop the hat, not on the tag side, but on the opposite side. Let's get in there. Then what we're going to do is line up the edge with the top of that ruler, right? And boom, there it is. What you want to do is identify how straight the top half is. And like I said, we're just using the natural form of the beanie in order to um, use our measurements along with this ruler. So that's good, right? We still have our two and a half, three inch cuff. What we're going to do is put some water soluble on top of this. We have our cutting board here, guys, that we just purchased. Yes, guys, we have upgraded the lab. We are on a purpose. We are on a mission for 2023. What we're going to do, we have our rolling. What is this from? I forget, Frisco or something like that. What we're going to do is cut a piece off. What I do need to do is get some different stabilizer. I really don't like this stabilizer because it's not transparent, but it will do for the video. There's different types of, um, there's different types of stabilizer or, or water soluble that you can use. And uh, in your journey, you'll you'll realize what kind you like. I just got this cheap stuff off of Amazon, but um, I think I prefer the clear version from Salky. What we're gonna do is take our stabilizer, line it up. It's gonna overlap the end, the edge right, right there, and we're gonna overlap the edge only because on flexible material like this. It, it tends to buckle in as the stitch out is being made. So in order to give it a little bit more flex, um, stabilization, I like to overlap the hat before I put on the top, before I hoop it up. 
So now we're gonna get our our top our top hoop, put it down in the guide, and boom. There we have a hooped hat. Perfect every time. You don't believe me? Well, let's get over to the embroidery machine. I'll introduce you to our EM1010 from Racoma. Um, guys, if you want to find out how I was able to purchase the uh, EM1010, make sure that you uh, wait until the end of the video. Don't skip ahead. Um, I will let you know how I was able to accomplish this uh, goal that I had for myself. Let's get over to the EM1010 from Racoma. Okay guys, we are at the EM1010 from Racoma and we are about to put our frame that we already hooked, that we already um, hooped. We are about to, and we are about to put our hat that we already hooped into the frame so that we can start our stitch out. We already loaded, we already loaded the logo. We assigned the different colors for each needle. And now all we gotta do is hit trace. You gotta hit trace. Always hit trace, guys, before you start your embroidery machine because you don't wanna hit this frame or any other frame that you may have in there. You're gonna end up with a broken needle or maybe something worse. So hit the uh, trace. Make sure it's inside the frame or inside the hooping area. It's on, it's on target. We, uh, we know it's going to be in the same placement every single time when we get our next hoop. Why? Because we used our ruler as the gap and we just uh, flipped our beanie inside out and uh, lined it up with the edge of our ruler, right? So if we do that every single time, there's no need to measure. There's no need to tape. All you have to do is have uh, your, your assigned colors for your logo, or whatever you're going to embroider. And boom, 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 efficiency. Let's hit start. Let's go. And the EM1010, guys, is on its way. I am so glad I was able to be able to purchase this, guys. Um, again, we're going to let this stitch out. Um, we're not going to sit through the entire stitch out, but, uh, hey, I'm happy that we're able to get this. I'm, a I'm happy that I'm able to show you, um, what we've done for 2023. It's all about growth, guys. It's all about growth. In this business, you want to... You want to grow, you want to advance yourself, and if it calls for investing in yourself, in a machine, something like this, you don't want to go broke, guys. If you have the clientele, or maybe you just have the money that you have in your savings and you want to invest in your future, guys, this is an investment. It's not like a, a vehicle, it's not like a car. This uh, vehicle right here is something that you can earn money with. Something you can earn money with. So I wouldn't say it depreciates, right? Let's try to zoom in a little bit there. But this is a definite, a definite investment that we made for our business as well as for the channel guys it's all about motivation right it's all about motivation it's all about efficiency being able to load your your logo or whatever image that you that you have and you don't have to keep loading in different threads it's an amazing thing it's an amazing thing we'll be back when the uh, logo or the stitch out gets a little bit further in the process. Let's go. 
I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that before. The B is up front and TV in the back. Comment below, let me know how you think. What you think about the uh, new logo? We've been using it for some time now, but before I learn how we did get this digitized, I'll put the video in the, uh, in the comments or on the video, I'll put it right there so that you can review the process that we did in order to uh, digitize our, our company logo. We'll be back. And the EM1010 is putting his finishing touches on the logo, guys. Putting his finishing touches on the logo. Again, comment below what you guys think about the about the logo and how the EM1010 stitched it out. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are back. We are done. What do you guys think about the stitch out? We are done. What we're going to do is take it out the hoop and see what we got. Okay, guys. Hey, we are back. And as you can tell, I got my hat on. And it's a perfect fit. What do you guys think? Write down in the comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you found value in this video. Um, like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Hey, guys, we are... We ain't doing nothing but going up in 2023. Um, so if you want to go along with us on this ride that we're that we are going on, uh, hey, I suggest that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join the family, join the BTV family, guys. You just saw the work. You just saw the value that this embroidery machine has. Ten needle, multi needle. Is it affordable? Ah, it's all about the value. I saw value in this machine. Um, so I went out on the limb and I did it. I went on and, and purchased it. Um, there's multiple ways that you can uh, purchase an embroidery machine, a multi-needle. You can buy it used, you can buy it brand new, where you get 0% financing. I'm not sure if that promotion is still going on with Recoma or not, but if your credit is good, uh, you get 0% financing up to what, five, six years, I, I believe. Um, the smartest uh, movement in wealth is to use other people's m money. And if you can use other people's money while you're making money, you ain't doing nothing. You're, you're not doing anything but winning, winning. So, um, guys, I got a hold of my brother and I said, hey, let's take a ride. And we took a ride um, about a three hour ride from where I from where I live, because my brother lives an hour away. And then from from there, it was another hour, hour and a half. And we made that drive. Um, I worked the previous night, work a, a regular job just like most of you guys. I got off, did not go to sleep, drove an hour to um, my brother's location. And from there we drove. Guys, I had him drive because I was so tired. I was so ex exhausted, but I took I took myself there. Why? Because I believe in myself. We're always preaching. If you don't believe in yourself, who else will? You got to believe in yourself in order to advance in life. And when it comes to t-shirt or garment decorating, um, you want to be able to do different things. Um, you want to be able to do uh, things like we just did right here. 
um, applique, regular embroidery, t-shirt embroidery, um, hoodie embroidery, sweatshirt embroidery, sweatpants, jackets, with an efficient amount of time. Because we only have about 24 hours in a day. And in order to run a business, this is just our first machine, guys. This is our first machine. Hopefully somewhere down in the near future, um, if business supports it, once, I should say, once business supports it, we're getting another one. And we'll, we'll most likely get a, a two head because I really enjoy doing hats. That's gonna be a, a future video. Um, baseball caps, snapbacks, you know, from front, side, as well as the back. Future videos, guys. Comment below. Let's motivate each other. Comment below. Let's motivate each other. And with that being said, guys, um, I'm not a rich person. I'm not rich at all. I just saw value in this machine and I was able to, you know, like I said, I do work. Um, I'm blessed with a good job. I, I'm, I'm blessed in a way that I do have a job that can support my business and get my business up and running. And with that being said, I use my job in order to um, to support myself so I can get up and going. Um, the EM1010 has no note, guys. We were able to cash out on it. Not to you know brag or boast or anything like that. I'm just in a position in life where I was able to do that. Um, I saw value. I could have put it in the bank, but what is it going to do in the bank? Is it going to grow as fast as I, as the money that I can potentially make with this EM1010? I don't think so. Um, I know the video has gotten a little long-winded, but um, I said, hey, I've had this machine now for a month and the, the channel is all about learning and growing. I've made a lot of mistakes off channel. Um, I should have been recording that because it's a learning process. This is a learning curve, guys. Um, if you don't have any background in embroidery, um, psh, man, it's a learning curve. And if it's a used product, ah, we'll do a video on that, whether or not you should buy a used embroidery machine or a brand new one. It all depends on your background, mechanical background. Um, I have somewhat of a mechanical background, so I had no fear. And for the price that I was able to get this embroidery machine at, if I had to put it in the in the shop, if I couldn't fix it myself and I had to put it in the shop, hey, I was still winning. That was my attitude. Like I said, if I don't believe in myself, who else will? If you guys, if you don't believe in yourself, who else will? And guys, I'm gonna end the video like I always say. Peace, love, and respect. Yeah. Notice me, ain't nobody holding me. Big wave at your short line, so they know it's me. Bay boy from the cold seas, nitro with a new pen, go at ISO, tell them don't reach. Ice cold with it, no fleece. I'ma need safety, tell the op can't snake me. Ray gun off safety.